now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. And by Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council. Thanks for joining us on this Monday, June 27th. I'm Christina Baer. Piscataway gets a boost from the federal government. Tap into Piscataway reports the U.S. Senate has voted to spend $500,000 to complete Ross Hall wall restoration and put it on display. The funding will be used to complete the final phase of an extensive restoration project for the Metlar Bodine House Museum, including construction of the Forever, the fourth gallery that will feature the Ross Hall wall and other historic treasures. Ross Hall served as headquarters for the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War. The Ross Hall wall is a parlor wall that was part of the room where General George Washington wrote the order for the first national celebration of the 4th of July. Some Camden students have been awarded college scholarships. The Camden Schools Foundation awarded $2,500 scholarships to 30 city high school scholars to help them pay for their college expenses. Tap into Camden reports this year's scholarships total $75,000. Over the past 16 years, the Camden Schools Foundation has awarded more than $1.3 million in scholarships and grants throughout the city. A Westfield staple closes its doors. Tap into Westfield reports that Cafe Bohemian Raspberry will be closing its doors after 10 years because the landlord won't renew the lease. The owner says the landlord has other plans for the location that do not include Bohemian Raspberry. He does not know, however, what those plans are. Up next, a sweet gift. A four-year-old from Barnegat gives back through lemonade. Welcome back. A four-year-old from Barnegat uses her lemonade stand money for a good cause. Tap into Stafford LBI reports that the owners of Skipper's Seafood and Sea Dogs Grill, Darren and Bree Schoenberg, have a four-year-old daughter, Alana. Well, the three decided to put up a lemonade stand outside to raise money for David's Dream and Believe Cancer Foundation. They raised $1,500 in just two hours on Father's Day, and they plan to do more lemonade stands this summer. To receive your local news from Tap Into in your inbox every day for free, sign up at tapinto.net slash enews. Thank you for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, brought to you by Lakeland Bank and Bag Up NJ, a public awareness campaign of the New Jersey Clean Communities Council.